So I'm looking online and I'm seeing things. Right now we got a situation of where it's kind of getting crazy for Adi Boom. Now I'm looking, I put out a video that was kind of explaining everything that's kind of been going on with Boom. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of the alleged snitching and, you know, how he feels about everything. You know what I'm saying? But Whoa. things have kind of taken a turn for the worse. I'm kind of looking online and I'm seeing Nakaya, who used to be one of the biggest financial supporters of King of the Dot, has put out a post. You know what I'm saying? He's kind of going in on Adi Boom, in a sense, kind of releasing something that's kind of like the nail in the coffin. Now, we all know Nakaya's cool with Big K, so he's kind of, in a sense, supporting Big K. Does this mean that he's got anything against Adi Boom? I don't think so. It kind of just means that he's just seeing some information and he's putting it out. Now I'm looking and there's a website that inmates use in order to email people and communicate with people on the outside. You know what I'm saying? And this is kind of like, uh, you know, a prison email that people are using. You know what I mean? But before I get to this, I do want to say I've gotten a chance to look at the official paperwork and it pretty much matches up. You know what I'm saying? With everything that Adi Boom is being accused of and I would probably end up spending a whole lot of time you know what I'm saying kind of breaking it down for y'all but in a sense it's kind of the same thing basically as the Stanley Williams appeal you know it's kind of just like you know giving you highlights of everything that's going on now I will say this Adi Boom I don't know what you're gonna do in battle rap hopefully you are finding other alternatives on how to make money because the battle rap community may not rock with you after after all of this, but Stanley Williams, the guy that had the appeal with the paperwork that everybody saw that Big K provided in the battle, has spoken out. You know what I'm saying? He basically goes ahead and he says that N-word provided info that got me indicted and sentenced to 30. Years, my G. I'm open to whatever is appealing. Listen to me, Adi Boom. Listen. I don't know what you' about to do now. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you know you can save face and try to do some interviews and kind of try to straighten it all out. But for right now, the inmate from behind the walls is kind of coming out into the battle rap community and letting people know that you out here 6 9 you know what I'm saying? So I know you didn't release the video that had a lawyer in there and you were kind of trying to get him to say that you didn't testify. And like everybody said, or you know, at least I said, you don't have to testify in a trial to be labeled as a snitch all you got to do is provide enough information for the prosecution to go towards whoever they want to go towards and overwhelm them with evidence to make them want to do a plea deal. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, go to trial. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes your statements, you know, are enough to where you don't have to actually sit there and testify against somebody. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Hopefully, Adi Boom can end up turning his career around. You got a lot of fans out here. People were supporting you. Math Hoffa allowed you to go on my expert opinion. And when I was looking at my expert opinion, it kind of looked to me like you was snitching all along. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly. You know what I'm saying? I got to put that out there. Because in the, the My Expert Opinion video that I saw, you basically said that you didn't know that you weren't supposed to talk to the police after being arrested. You know what I'm saying? You were saying that you were young. You didn't know those rules. And Misfit was basically saying, nah, G, you supposed to know not to say nothing, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't about to scrub through three hours of, of my expert opinion. Y'all can pretty much look it up yourself. He was basically saying in not so many words that he didn't know to keep his mouth shut. You know what I'm saying? Right now, Big Caden caught you up on not keeping your mouth shut. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully, like I said, Adi Boom, the battle rap community, they already know what's up. You know what I'm saying? And what's going on. And now with this email from Stanley Williams, pretty much confirming what the original documentation confirmed that BK put out here is kind of like, yo, 
I don't know what you can say at this point, you know, and you were talking about the official paperwork and I saw it and it's basically saying the same thing, you know what I'm saying? So it's all public record, but I ain't trying to keep y'all for, you know, hours and hours. It's already out there and people know that you have been 6 9 and you know what I'm saying? Y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. Comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what y'all think about that. I'm wondering something, you know what I'm saying? When this battle gets released on Rare Breed Entertainment on YouTube, will the battle be altered? You know what I'm saying? Because when you got all type of legalities and things like that, and we know that Rare Breed Entertainment is all up on the law. You know what I'm saying? They will sue you if you back out of battles and, you know, this, that, and the third. So I don't know if they going to actually post this battle. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe they will, you know, because if you technically look at it, a lot of what was being said, you know, in the documentation, none of it was really shown on camera. It's all verbal, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully that doesn't, you know, affect the way the video is going to be presented to the public because I do feel like Big K had one of the biggest bodies of all time in battle rap, you know what I'm saying? I would say this is probably top three. I got Lux, I got, you know, Math Hoffa, you know what I mean, with a crazy one, and then I've got this one as being number two or number three. You know what I'm saying? Anytime you have a round that is a career ender, you know what I'm saying? This is not something that you can come back from. This is a career ender. When you got something like this, this is powerful, you know? So, you know, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? He basically, he said what it was, passed out paperwork, then it's just round, you know? But that round was powerful enough to where it's got people having big K taking the battle you know what i'm saying i don't know if y'all remember what happened between lux and calico but it was pretty much the same thing you know what i'm saying that round that he had was so powerful you know people gave him the battle even though he was choking and stumbling in other rounds you know what i'm saying but y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below also i know adi boom you may have a battle coming up what i think is ines you know so ines is gonna have to decide whether or not he's going to take that battle. There are other people I would like to see Adi Boom against if he chooses to get in the ring, but they all going to be street people. And I don't think he want to get in the ring and battle, you know, a person like Cal. You know what I'm saying? I just want to see what Cal would do with that information. And Ace Amin, you know what I'm saying? Ace Amin actually went ahead and he went to prison and he didn't squeal and he didn't take the stand like a stool pigeon, you know what I'm saying? But you know, when people take the stand or people get under pressure, I should say, they start singing like a canary. And right now we got a situation where Adi Boom is allegedly singing like a canary, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know all them fittings that you've been wearing and all them clothes you've been buying. You might want to save your money because I don't know where you're going to get the next check because Battle Rap look like they turning they back on you. You know what I'm saying? You got Nakai from King of the Dot pretty much putting information out there. It looks like you're going to have a hard time getting booked. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Comment and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about that. And another thing. You know what I'm saying? I do want to put this out here. John John is feeling some type of way. You know what I'm saying? He had a battle against Chess to where... I believe he clearly won that battle. A lot of people believe he clearly won the battle, but for some reason, John John put out a post saying that people are trying to call this battle between him and Chess debatable. You know, if y'all seen it on the Caffeine app, y'all can pretty much chime in and let me know what y'all think. But from what I saw, there's nothing debatable about the battle. You know what I'm saying? This was a body. You know, so, you know, y'all tell me what y'all think. But John John is right. You know, when he ends up battling people and he wins these battles, People, A, try not to give him credit, or two, try to look for an excuse from the other person, or three, sweep the battle under the rug, you know, and I feel like this is kind of what's happening because Chess is so beloved in the battle rap community, and he's done well for so long, people are looking for any reason to kind of, you know, vouch or make excuses for chess. But right now, when you got something going on on the Caffeine app that's as big as having to deal with Drake, you don't want to be taking this time to start making mistakes. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I can't really rock with what chess did, but 
You know what I'm saying? I will say this. Chess, go back to the drawing board. Channel whatever you channeled before to get your name to where it is now. You know what I mean? And try to go back into that. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, everybody's going to have an off game. And I ain't making excuses for you. But you can't, you know, go to battles when it's most important and choke. You know what I'm saying? When you get on those big stages. Are you a small stage battler or are you a big room battler? This is something that you got to, you know, try to figure out. You know what I mean? And you got Cave Gang behind you. Y'all been having a lot of controversy going on. But, you know what I'm saying? That's the news for the day. Y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. And another thing. You know what I'm saying? I do want to ask this question. Is Goods still cool with Adi Boom? You know what I'm saying? They had like kind of a tight relationship. You know what I'm saying? Adi Boom actually went to Goods' house and, you know, went on his Instagram live. And Goods is pretty much vouching for Adi Boom all that day. You know, but... You know, if Geechee Gotti and Goods may end up battling one day, I think this is enough ammo to where Geechee Gotti can have a crazy round on you right now, Goods. You know, is that something that you know that you kind of want to stay away from? Or are you willing to get in the ring and get some of that smoke? You know what I'm saying? But y'all, tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. Comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what y'all think about that. Peace.